This was is home to one of Europe's biggest uh, refugee camps. How is it coping? The situation in Moria is suffocating. The conditions of living for the migrants get worse every day. As now there are here around uh, 9,000 migrants, which means uh, three times the number that the camp can accommodate. To give you a clear picture uh, of what is happening here, outside of the main camp there is now a makeshift camp uh, made from people that cannot stay inside because there's no space. So they set up their tents uh, just outside, and this is where we were filming yesterday. Apart uh, from the awful hygiene conditions with very few toilets and even less showers, there's garbage everywhere where uh, people were playing and uh, where children are staying and playing. They don't have cold water. After 10 o'clock in the night, they don't have water at all, and they have no light. Uh, in the upper side of the makeshift camp, uh, you can see families with children, ma mainly from Afghanistan and Syria, and in the lower part, there are single men coming from various countries. So mothers have no hot water to bathe uh, their newborns, as you will uh, see in the video that follows. Mothers with newborns have no access to hot water. One toilet serves for dozens of people, and there's garbage everywhere. This is how life is in the makeshift camp outside of Moria, in one of the biggest refugee camps in Europe. Human rights groups and local authorities have criticized Greece for overcrowding and poor conditions. Moria is currently operating at almost three times its capacity. Can you uh, bath a 10 month baby with cold water? Can you? You can't. Food here is not clean. It's not safe. Last night, and me and one of my neighbors, we went to hospital. Dozens of children are coming down with chickenpox, and their mothers have no water to tend to them properly. Adil is one of the founders of the NGO movement on the ground that is active in Moria. He has been in Lesbos for three years. He says that the hotspot and the makeshift camp outside cannot accommodate so many people. It's obvious that we are not meeting the minimum requirements uh, when it comes to sanitation and hygiene uh, standards. And it has mainly to do with that there is no uh, movement of people to the mainland. Uh, people are waiting very long. Uh, there are people here that are almost for two years waiting uh, their asylum procedure. So women with small babies don't have hot water, but men a few meters away do. We're trying to build a community together with the people that it concerns. So rather of seeing these people as victims of war, as needy people, we try to empower them and see them as human capital. Otis Filippo. Annelies, people here is... Analysts, people here say that what they're really asking for is to get their dignity back. Uh, from the side of the authorities, the answer is that the, if the migratory flows keep coming, it will be impossible to accommodate all of them. Besides, the Prime Minister last night uh, in Salzburg said to his European counterparts that if the migration flows keep rising, there should be a new European initiative. And uh, everyone uh, here, migrants and residents, are really afraid what is going to happen uh, when the winter comes. They're really afraid that the situation is going to get much worse when the winter comes as uh, the tents, that, especially in the makeshift uh, part of the camp, they have no heating.